Hey guys, how you all doing? Welcome back to your music vlogs with Yolanda. Yes, guys, today we are going to be doing a cook video. Yes, we are going to be making gizzard sauce and it's going to go with some rice. Yes, guys, I know it's been a minute since I came here with an actual video. Yes, I've been struggling. I've been struggling. Oh, it's not easy. Trying to juggle life with a baby and everything. Yes, so I'm back. I'm back again and i'm here to give you good stuff good content beautiful dish for today so guys please just make sure you watch the video watch it though please don't, don't skip the video watch it it's interesting like comment subscribe to the channel please guys please 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 help my channel to grow yes i always like to leave subscribe at the end but it seems when i do that nobody actually sees and subscribe to the channel please please i'm begging you guys help me grow this channel subscribe to the channel like the videos like the videos and leave your comments underneath in the comment section thank you guys so much so i'll leave you now in here we have carrots we have carrots and um, orange bell pepper. You're going to have some tomatoes. And for this guys, we're going to be using some gizzard. Before I blend this, let me just treat. Just a small spicy. And then. Some time. Let's put on the heat. Okay, we're going to add some um, like this seasoning cubes and let it cook. I hope you guys can see it. Now back to our tomato. Let's just blend our tomatoes. Now I'm just going to boil the paste that I made. Hello guys, have you seen my new love? My new love is this tiny chopping machine. I love it so much. It makes me forget to use my blender at times. You see that? So I didn't want to blend this red paprika. I wanted to a bell pepper. I wanted to chop it up into tiny bits just like this. I didn't want a smooth paste. Let's do this. You see that? And guys, the blades are very sharp. So I'm always very, very careful with it. So I don't cut my hand. Yes. You see, it almost made the paste. But it still has some particles in it. That's the look I was going for. Yes. Now we're going to start our sauce proper. So we start first of all with oil in our pot. So we have our ingredients salt, curry powder, this is just a mixed spice, um, country onion. I don't, I think they call it onion tree, the fruits from the onion tree. This is it, it's blended. You have the remaining half of the seasoning cube that I used. We have this. We call it bebe in Cameroon. I don't know what it's called elsewhere. This is what it looks like. This fruit. You crack it open and then in this 
the fruit inside it has already been blended this is it we'll be using some onion too the onion add my spring onion too leeks i don't know what you call it spring onion Frying little, and I add my. I'll put this aside first. And my bell pepper, a big red bell pepper. Also, we call it paprika. Yes, this is what's going to give color to our stew. We just let it fry for a bit. Okay. Uh, we have this fried. We just add our tomato carrot mix. Ha, ah, hey guys, you have to excuse. I know it's a, there's a lot going on here. I'm also boiling some rice and beans together, which I'm going to use to eat this. I want everything to get ready at the same time. I just let this fry. So now I just add my ginger and garlic. Okay. Now we add our seasoning cube, I'll just put it at the side because it's very hot, so I can, I can blend it, I can mash it, so it's not going to be funny if we start to win the seasoning cube in our food. Add our curry. Our mixed spice. The bebe. This one is just a little because the strength can be quite overpowering. That's enough. And then lastly, our country onion. Okay. And then we taste before we add salt because our remember our stock had salt. Just add a little bit. Yes. Guys, this is optional but just for some additional flavor. I will add some crayfish. Just let the spices cook. And guys, we're done. We're done. Let's clear up. Okay guys, this is the final meal. Okay guys, so that's all we had for you for this school video. Yes, I hope you tried this at home. Trust me, it's very yummy and delicious and you're going to enjoy it. So, thanks for watching if you watch up to the end of the video. And please make sure you give up a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, turn on your bell notification and share please guys. Why not share? For others to see and join my family thank you guys so much for tuning in see you in my next video bye bye